And welcome back. We have Pandemic Legion versus Tormentum. This is match 14 of day one of the Alliance Tournament Finals. You're listening to Veron and Angel Horn. And got a bit of a setup, different setup from Pandemic Legion now. They're fielding three legions, two curses, two crews, a guardian and a pair of crusaders highlighted in red on the red uh, left side of your screen. Um, maybe Pandemic Legion did need the practice. Um, Claymore, Nighthawk, Rook, Hugin, Scimitar, three nemesis, two Manticores from Tormentum. An interesting, interesting setup. Uh, most of the DPS from Pandemic Legion focused into the three legions, something we haven't seen a lot of uh, recently in this tournament. Generally considered one of the weaker T3 ships. Absolutely. Um, it's a familiar looking ship to me. It's actually the same, uh, very similar DPS loadout to what I actually fly uh, my own legion as. Um, so the whole shape is uh, definitely... Uh, one that I know it also puts up out an absolutely massive effective hit point tank when it's fitted correctly. Um, so this is going to be a very interesting match. Paired with, uh, those three paired with that Guardian, um, that's going to be a pretty strong team if they can hold it together. And conversely, you have a ton of Cap Warfare uh, available for Pandemic Legion on the team. So those crewers are getting a, uh, basically a mini Balgorn having a web end and small newt bonus. And small newts, uh, while bonus, are actually fairly effective, especially against... Uh, the scimitar type <laughs> uh, bombs away from tormentum not sure how effective that's going to prove against pandemic legion hitting what both curses uh, not and very legion, effective at all not very effective um, at all. see those legions there straight away um, up to nearly two kilometers a second absolutely barreling towards the tormentum team and as soon as those guys get in range they're going to put down serious heavy pulse hurt these are this is an interesting use of crusaders for uh, petition legion already one tormentum bomber is down uh, a large part of their dps is incredibly vulnerable to this pandemic legion team i'm going to go ahead and call this right here for pandemic legion I, i'm pretty confident that tormentum will not be able to hold very long yeah, absolutely. You've got a cap transfer going on there uh, between two of the legions, I believe that was, or potentially a legion and a guardian. Um, just trying to get a really, really good look to see what's going on with these legions. And the rook just absolutely vaporizing uh, within seconds of being locked by those by those legions. Uh, Pandemic Legion right on top of the majority of Tormentum at, at the moment. The scimitar, uh, I would be surprised if A, he had any cap. Uh, or B, if he wasn't sweating extra probably as heavily as I am right now. Yep, Morgan Redthorn there for Tormentum, destroyed for a boundary violation. Um, so <laughs> pretty much killing themselves as well as having their asses completely handed to them by this Triple would Legion you, would you rather Pandemic die to, Legion. Would you rather die to CCP Claw or Pandemic Legion? I'd rather die to CCP Claw. It'd be less embarrassing given the antics recently. But, um, oh wow, just Pandemic Legion, another completely different setup to what we've seen uh, three uh, heavy pulse legions um, backed up by a guardian just unbelievable amount of dps unbelievable effective hit point tank really awesome taking advantage ship. of the amar hole of the hole in the statistic of the amar ships appearing in this tournament uh, really effective against um, teams that are that are trying to predict uh, e their ecm fits uh, we have a second ship we had a second ship actually destroyed by ccp claw Currency, which is uh, I'm trying to find. Oh, that's another Tormentum pilot. A second Tormentum pilot dropped by CCP Claw for boundary violation. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing, but they obviously don't know how far away from the beacon they are. Um, uh. One of the curses there for Pandemic Legion just starting to slip into armor. I should imagine again the Guardian pilot for PL uh, will rectify the situation and has done. Um, Tormentum pretty much killing themselves, or at least I don't think PL can actually say they've won this match. Claw's killed more than them, I think. Uh, an, an impressive performance by CCP Claw, really a glorious warrior. Only lost one ship overall uh, in all the tournaments that he's participated in, uh, and really, it was really by his own hand. Yes, it was indeed, and uh, you can see there, wow, uh, these legions just absolutely tearing the field up. Um, well, a lot of people said they're, uh, they're weak ships, they're not very good, blah, 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 but it just shows when you put a little bit of thought into it, what you can come out with. And uh, Torment Dumb, uh, well, I think you got a new nickname, guys. Petition Legion and Torment Dumb. Yeah. Thanks, Darius. Wow. Um, and CCP Claw is actually uh, confirming to us that he wins the match because 100 points to him uh, for killing everyone <laughs> for boundary violations. Yeah, I mean, that's a really interesting loadout from PL um, 
they've got the web, uh, they've got the NOS, uh, and the Newt from um, the two crews. They've got the logistics from the Guardian. Massive amounts of cap warfare and track and disrupting from and those two cases. You have the scrams from the Crusaders. Yeah, scrams um, from the Crusaders and just a whole lot of hurt from the three Pulse Legions. It's a great, um, it's a great example of the diversity w even within uh, <laughs> one's <laughs> own race. <I've> <laughs> Nighthawk taking a pound and just melting on the PL setup. Nighthawk gets crushed. Wow, I like that a lot. Um, well, that's it. Decisive and completely whitewash victory for PL. Uh, Tormentum out, PL through, and we can hand it back to Uncle Soundwave.